Good morning, everybody. This is Miss Bullet. While we're out of school, I'm going to be doing my best to post one or two videos a week of read alouds we would have experienced in the classroom, but now we're experiencing online. The story I'm going to start with today is called The Water Princess. Um, so this is a story based on the childhood experience of Georgie Badel. It's written by Susan Verde, illustrated by Peter H. Reynolds. I thought this was a good start since March is Women's History Month, and we're going to hear a little bit about the childhood of Georgie Badel, at least how she saw it. The Water Princess. I am Princess Gigi. My kingdom, the African sky, so wide and so close. I can almost touch the sharp edges of the stars. I can tame the wild dogs. I can make the tall grass sway when I dance. I can make the wind play hide and seek. But I cannot make the water come closer. I cannot make the water run clearer no matter what I command. It is early morning, still dark. My mother wakes me. Gigi, my princess, it is time to get up. We must collect the water. Water, come. Do not make me wake before even the sun is out. A son is out of bed, I demand. Come, please, I say. But the water won't listen, and I know we will have to walk so far to the well. So they actually have to walk to get to their water. I am too sleepy to put on my crown. I think of the pot that will rest on my braids instead. The thirst comes quick. Dry lips, dry throat. I squeeze my eyes shut. I can see it clear. I dip my toes in it cool. I scoop it up and bring it to my lips. Who do you think she's talking about on this page? Probably the water. Slowly I open my eyes. Nothing. I kick the dust. I grab my empty pot and place it upon my head. My mother does the same and our journey begins full of song. My maman adds her melody. Our steps are light. We twirl and laugh together. The miles give us room to dance. Halfway there. We stop for a moment at the giant karate tree long enough to grab a handful of sweet shea nuts for energy. So they're only halfway there so far. They have to walk a really long way for water. We can keep the dance going just a little longer. Mom, ma'am, are we there yet? Finally, I hear the water running from the well, the giggles of my friends, the clatter of women. Some have traveled farther than I, only to return home when the sun has gone to bed. My ma'am holds our place while I play with friends. The dance continues. The water is flowing. She is with her friends. Pots filling with the dusty earth-colored liquid. Gigi, come, my tenant. My turn now. The dance home has slowed to careful steps. My thirst so heavy, like the full pot I carry. Our song is softer now. Our shoulders ache, our feet cramp. I see home at last. My ma'am boils enough water for drinking. We wait. We wash our clothes. We prepare food for cooking. 
My father comes home quickly from the fields to share in the drink and the meal. He scoops me up. My princess, you have returned with the water. Drink, my mom finally says. Every sip fills me with energy. I want to make it last, but I can't. I gulp it down. Clothes and body clean, I sing to the dogs. I dance with the tall grass. I hide from the wind. My mom brings one last cup. She is saved just for me. Drink, my princess. Sleep, my princess. Tomorrow we journey again. My mom and I say, and my ma'am, as I, I say as I close my eyes, why is the water so far? Why is the water not clean? Where is our water? Sleep, she says. Dream, she says. Someday you will find a way, my princess, someday. I am Princess Gigi, my kingdom, the African sky, the dusty earth, and someday the flowing, cool, crystal clear water. Someday. And that was the story of the water princess. So this is, again, this was based off of, George, I'm going to say, Georgie Bedell and what she went through as a child having to go every day to help collect water for her family. After listening to this story, I am going to post a question for you to think about. Feel free to answer it. If you just wanted to listen to me read this story, that's absolutely fine too. And thank you for coming and listening. This will be the first of many. Um, let me know if there's any book requests. I'll definitely try to do those as well. Until next time, bye.